Yo, what's good, everybody? It's KJ. I'm back, and we got more draft league content. <laughs> so, I was accepted into a league that actually just made its return with the post DLC format. Uh, it is IBL. So, IBL was a league that ended their last season in Gen 8, and they got some new leadership, uh, and they're back. So it is a 16 coach league. We can draft nine to 11 Mons. We get two Terra Captains totaling 10 points or totaling up to 10 points. And the super hype thing is I got picked two. So very, very excited about that. We did get some of the crazy stuff banned. So no Chien Pao, no Zamazenta crowned, no Darkrai, but the power level is still pretty high. There is Dragapult, there is Iron Valiant, Bundle, all that stuff. So yeah, let's jump in and see how I did. All right, so with the first pick on this team, at pick two, we got Dragapult. Iron Valiant went before us, and Dragapult's one of those mons that I think is super, super dope. Like, you can build around it with pretty much anything. Um, it has so much versatility with screens, with setup, with being physical or special. It's so damn fast that, like, it is just such a good mon. And honestly, Dragapult being my first pick, I thought was just absolutely incredible for me. Going back through, because we were pick two, we don't actually get another pick until pick 31 because it's a 16 uh, player draft. So the next Mon we got is Chiyu. And I was shocked that Chiyu fell to us. This Mon is arguably the best special breaker in the game. It just hits so hard with its ability. It's able to lower the special defense of anything that's on the opposite side. So it's hitting even harder. It has the stab combination of fire dark so it hits almost everything outside of a couple of different combinations like water fairy or water dark or rock fairy so there's a couple of those mons that do exist in this deck so we do have to be careful of those but this is just such a great mon for dragapult to just like break for dragapult to clean if need be so really excited about that i'm really excited to use chiyu and i'm really shocked it got to me because i thought it was one of the best mons on the board but hey it is what it is that's why we draft right um next i wanted to get something that was very very good at removing hazards and also kind of could function as a, a good defensive mon and a slow pivot Corviknight fit all of those things. Corviknight is one of the best steel types in the game, uh, has the steel flying typing, which is exclusive to it uh, right now because there are no other steel flyings in Paldea decks right now. And I thought it was just such a good mon to have. Like it has access to recovery. Again, it has access to the ever elusive defog. Um, it is a slow pivot with U-turn. It can also be a setup threat. It is offensive enough where it can be a setup threat. So that's really exciting. Uh, and yeah, I just thought that Corviknight fit really well. And I was pretty excited about that. So I was able to get Corviknight on the way back. So now with Dragapult, Chiyu, Corviknight, I think we're sitting in a good spot. Okay, so next I wanted to get a, another removal option. And I also thought I wanted to get something defensive that could cover Corviknight a little bit. Uh, as well as just make sure that, like, I had the flexibility to run, like, say, Spadef Core or something like that. So, I actually went with Donphan. Now, Donphan is a mon that has some absolutely crazy coverage with stuff like Seed Bomb and Ice Spinner now, and it gets... It gets knockoff. Uh, there's so many different things that Donphan can do, as well as being just one of the better spinners in the format so i was thinking okay here now like i'm in a good spot i have a spinner that is pretty good and also kind of guarantees a spin if i'm like lefties or boots or something like that because it does have sturdy as well so pretty happy about that we also have corviknight arguably the best defogger in the in the game so i figured now i need to work on my offense a little bit more and start kind of figuring out what works well. So I actually, with my next pick, took Mian Chao. So Mian Chao's a mon that I've used before in the past. It is really cool. It has inner focus, so it is um, immune to like flinching and intimidate. It also has regenerator, so it can get 33% back every time it switches out. And it does sort of start to form this pretty interesting um, momentum core with both Dragapult and Corviknight, because it fits 
in between both of those in terms of speed, like Dragapult being super high speed, Mian Chao being fast, but not like super fast, and then Corviknight being pretty slow. So very excited to grab Mian Chao there. So we're five picks in, and at this point, I'm thinking, okay, I probably need to get one of my Terramons. So I end up going with what I think is one of the best Terramons in low tier Terra, and that is Jolteon. So Jolteon is going to be my one of my Terra captains, and it is going to be Terra Ice and Terra Fairy. You'll kind of see the rest of the team, and you'll see why. Um, I did end up going with Terra Fairy. One of the reasons is because of the fact that there was a Mono Fairy team being drafted, so I wanted to make sure that I had an option to have a fairy just in case I didn't get one. We'll see if I get one later on. But yeah, Jolteon, I mean, bolt beam coverage is stupid. So having stab, ice, and electric is absolutely fantastic. Jolteon also gets access to a couple of cool things like Yawn. Um, it does a Volt Absorb. Um, it can be quick feet, so it can sort of get status and then just kind of outspeed the majority of the game. <laughs> um, so that's really nice. And yeah, I think Jolteon's just gonna be a really good mon. It also got access to Calm Mind this gen. So absolutely nutty mon. And I'm excited for it to be one of my Terra Captains. I wanted it in PDD. I wasn't able to get it. So there we go. Uh, so next I decided it was time to officially fall into the panic a little bit. And I did pick up a fairy. I picked up one of the last fairies. But the good thing about this fairy is it's also a pretty good dang good counter to Chiyu. So I took that off the board and that's Doc's Bun. So it has well-baked body, which gives it a defense boost when it is hit by a fire attack. And it also naturally, because it's a fairy type, resistant to dark. So this is a mon I'm glad nobody else got because it does pretty much hard wall Chiyu. I think this mon is pretty cool. It does have wish access. It does have access to yawn. It does get baton pass. So that is pretty nice. It does have a very interesting speed tier at 95. So pretty excited about that. And kind of looking at my team, I'm seeing that the speed tiers are kind of filling in pretty nicely, right? Like I have my top end speed. I have sort of that middle tier speed and I do have a slow pivot. I'll probably want to get like some of the middle tiers filled in. So I was thinking about that. And then I was also looking at my team and I was like, oh no, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have a bulky water. So I actually decided that my bulky water was also going to be my Terra captain because I saw this thing in three points and shout out to my homie Killawaboom because he used it against me really well. I decided I'm going to pick up Samurott. So Samurott is a really cool mon. It can be physical. It can be special. It has access to priority with Aqua Jet and it has pretty good stats being a starter Pokemon. And it is going to be Terra Grass and Terra Fairy. Uh, those are the two types I decided on. And again, I just want to have the flexibility to have a fairy. Doxbun, I think, is going to be something that is sort of situationally brought. So having my two Terra Mons as fairy types, pretty excited about that. And I think that gives me good flexibility. But yeah, the cool thing about Samurai is it actually got some buffs in the DLC. So... I think it had knockoff already, but it might not have. But the big buff is actually that it gets flip turn now. So being a water type that can pivot, I think it's really cool. I think that's going to be great for it. And again, it has good bulk. It has good offensive stats. It can hit both on both sides. So I'm pretty excited to use this thing. I think it's going to be cool. I think it's going to fit a pretty good role on the team. And yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people are super excited about Hisui and Samurott, but I think regular Samurott is really good and I think for the value of three points it was fantastic okay so looking at the team I have 27 points for three mons and I needed to prioritize a couple of different things I needed a grass type because I needed a ground resist that just kind of could do something both offensively but also be relatively defensive so that was something that was on my mind I needed something that punished fairy types because my fire type does not resist fairy because I do have chi Yu. So that was something that I was keeping in mind because I wanted to make sure I freed up Corviknight a little bit. And my last thing was I wanted a normal type, specifically something bulky uh, that could switch into ghost type moves and stuff like that, especially because again, Chiyu, while it has decent bulk, it is going to be more offensive and isn't going to be coming super defensively. So I needed to have a way to check like other ghost types that are going to be kind of scary. So... I prioritized those in a way that was a little weird, but 
I'll explain my reasoning. So I went with the Dunsparce first because it has rocks, it has glare, it has the ability to hit on both sides, both physically and specially, and it is also a mon that I really wanted to use, right? So I've seen a couple different people use it. I mean, obviously, MV used it really well in PPL. I've also seen Killawaboom use it in PDD, and that was super fun. So I'm really interested, and both of them had it as a Terramon. I think it's still really good, even though it's not gonna be a Terramon for me. Although I guess if I did change things up, it could be a Terramon, but I don't think it's gonna be. So I think for me, this Mon, again, just fits the role of being able to be a bulky rocker and spread paralysis kind of fix up some of the speed gaps that I might have between like Jolteon and Mian Xiao. And I think that's going to be fun. I'm excited about that. So next, I prioritize getting the Mon that's going to be hitting those fairies. And that's going to be Galar Slowbro. And again, this is a Mon that can be physical, can be special, has a super cool move called Shell Sidearm that I recently learned how it worked. <laughs> um, but it hits on both sides or either side, depending on what hits harder. So that's pretty dope. And it also gets some setup options. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. The only thing is having a poison that does not have spi T spikes is a little painful, but hey, this thing is really bulky. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think it's gonna be super cool. And it's sort of like the only slow twin uh, between both Kanto or Galar uh, slow twins that I have not used. So very excited to, to grab this here. And then my last pick was actually something that I thought was pretty pretty dang good value. So uh, we get Obama Snow and Obama Snow is really cool here because it does have Veil. It has access to hit a lot of the things that check it. And with the buff to snow, it actually gets a defense boost in the snow because for being an ice type, which I think is really cool. So having a bomb of snow as my last pick, I thought was really good. It does, again, hit really hard, has veil, can hit physically or specially, and has the move pool to do so. And yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited. So this is the full team. Let me know what y'all think and leave some comments in the uh the section below and yeah i'm really excited for ibl we got some really good coaches and hopefully we can do better than we did in pdd because <laughs> that was definitely that's been a little rough but i'm excited and yo there will be some more draft content coming up in the near future when this goes up i think i'll have another draft recap going up the next day actually so take a look at that and yo i'll see y'all for week one Thanks, everybody. Peace.